But honestly, how could you expect other people in your organization to go to an event, to be committed to building their team if they're a leader, if you uh, are not showing them that you are as well? So the value of events, guys, is absolutely powerful. If you haven't registered for Atlanta, any way you need to get there, make it happen. I guarantee you it is going to be so well worth it. I'm going to be there. Dale's going to be there. Tim Miller's going to be there. Almost every one of our diamonds, if not every single one, and our crown diamonds are going to be there. So many platinums. I mean, you guys are going to have the opportunity to meet, hang out with, have fun, hug. I mean, it is going to be just an amazing, amazing event. I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to see all you guys again and, and meet a lot of you guys for the first time. The growth the last few months has been absolutely powerful, and we are just getting started. So with that, I've got 8.01 p.m. out here in Florida, a little after 5 on the West Coast. And this is going to be a short one. We're not going to have a, a ton of training tonight, but Dale has some very powerful stuff. So if you guys have a pen and paper, definitely get it out. And like I always tell you guys, I don't just bring Dale on to entertain you guys or to make you feel excited and happy about the opportunity, about the company, and, the, and to kind of you know, rebuild your confidence. I don't need to do that. Hopefully you guys understand that what we have here is better, more powerful, more exciting than any other company on the planet right now. The timing and positioning is perfect. The product just is rock solid. We've got a, a super solid foundation right now, three and a half years in business paid out millions of dollars in commissions. As you know, our compensation plan cannot be compared in this industry. 80% payout on the front end, over 70% on the back end. It is huge. There's a reason that so many people are making money with this company. But the point is, guys, don't just listen to this information and, and be excited about it. Take action on it. Even if you implement just one thing that Dale talks about tonight, guys, it could be significant in your organization. And again, just like the, the uh, conferences, the regional events, the more people you have on these kind of webinars and all the trainings and all the conference calls, the bigger your team is going to be grow. Because again, I guarantee you that after you get off this call in the next hour or so, you're going to wish 100 more people on your team were on it with you. So with that, Good evening. Welcome. I'm going to turn the call over to superstar leader and trainer. For those of you guys who don't know Dale Calvert, this guy just has a, one of the most solid reputations in this industry. There's a lot of people in this industry who train on how to build a team and different lead generation techniques and different mindset and all this stuff. And, and you know, a lot of them have great information and their stuff works. I'm not taking anything away from that. But they don't have the experience that Dale has. In other words, it frustrates me when I see people training in the industry who haven't actually built an organization in the industry. And that's one of the things I really love and appreciate about Dale is that he's been there, he's done that, he's been in the trenches. Every single thing that he talks about, that he trains on, that he teaches you, he's actually done. He's tested. He's done it in his organization. He's trained it into his team, duplicated it, created that leadership. And, uh, and, and so that's why you know, I really appreciate where he's coming from is because he's not just coming up with ideas and, and throwing them out there. He's actually done it. He's, he's, he's built some huge organizations in this industry, helped thousands of other people generate some very significant income from home. So pay attention, guys. And, and you know, we bring on Dale to help you. I hope you guys you know, really understand that this isn't just – another network marketing company opportunity business we want this to be the last company you have to be involved in we want this to be the company you can retire with and these strategies that we're teaching are time tested proven strategies that very realistically could help you get there in the next three to five years and set yourselves up for life so pay attention I can't wait to see you guys in Atlanta and uh, I'm going to hang out on the, the call tonight as well. I'm excited to, to hear what Dale's going to train on. And I'll be here at the end to wrap it up so you guys will get to, to see my ugly face one more time. Um, with that, Dale, I'm going to turn this off and turn it over to you. Okay, thanks, Ben. I appreciate it, guys. I'm really, really excited to uh, be with you tonight. And uh, I love listening to Ben because I know where he's coming from, and I, I understand, you know, his values and what he wants to do with SBC. 
Uh, I'm going to apologize in advance. I have been traveling for 10 hours today. I got home. Uh, I took all my notes for tonight's webinar, and I'm really excited about the information I'm going to share with you because I've never really shared this in this format ever before. Uh, bits and pieces of it I've shared for years, but um, I'm real, very excited about it. And uh, I, I'm apologizing in advance because I, I got home, took my notes, got them on a PowerPoint, and I did not have a chance to go back through and do anything with the PowerPoint. So I'm sure we're going to run into some, you know, not what I would normally do, but it's been a time crunch for me. So I'm just going to tell you that in advance. But I am very excited about this information. And we're going to talk about recruiting and team building insights. And uh, you know, if you're going to achieve your potential with SBC, then this is something you have to really, really focus on. And there's five key insights. Number one is you have a number. And this set me free when I was in the industry building because I realized for me to get to the top and where I wanted to go, there was X number of people that I was going to have to expose the product and opportunity to, just like you will. I don't know what your number is. You don't know what your number is. But we both know the law of averages tells us you have a number. And I think the thing that people get all frustrated is they try to convince XYZ person to join, and they don't stop and realize the word next. It's next. You don't have time to try to stop and convince anybody. You're looking for the right person at the right time in their life. And the sooner you hit your number, the sooner you're going to get where you want to go with, with the SBC opportunity. The second thing is we go out to the marketplace and we try to tell everybody how great everything is and how great they can be and, and how, how much income they could create and what kind of car they could drive and how they could buy. And, we, we talk about all these benefits, but the bottom line when you're recruiting, you have to understand that fear of loss is the number one motivator to human beings. And when I really started to understand that, as, you, as many of you already have, it takes your recruiting to an entire new level. And you know, I used to tell people, quit, try, quit trying to communicate to people that they can get rich and tell them they're going to miss. They're going to miss it. They're going to miss this opportunity. They're going to miss the timing. They're going to miss everything that SBC has to offer, and don't let them miss it. Fear of loss is the number one motivator. Third concept I just wanted to share, and I wish this is so important. Nobody talks about it, but the best advice I can give a leader is don't stop recruiting until you're done. And every leader in this industry wants to get to a point where they can you know, phase in, phase out, enjoy their life, enjoy their family, enjoy the fruits of their labor, but, but never the biggest mistake that people make is they start managing too soon. They start managing too soon. You know, and for different people, that's different levels of people, but that's the next thing. Fourth thing is sponsoring five new members a month ultimately will create momentum in your organization. Uh, all network marketing organizations are built in a state of momentum. And momentum is hard to, to create, and it's easy to lose. And you have to cherish it. And the way to create momentum in your organization is you get your skill set, your activity, your, your mindset, your to a point where you're doing consistently at least five people a month, five people a month, five people a month, five people a month. Yes, a lot of those people will never get started. Some will quit. Some will peak the day they sign the application. But if you can, if you can find three to five people a year who see the vision and want to use this as a vehicle to create wealth, all you need is three to five a year. The way you find three to five is to enroll 60. That's the bottom line, five a month on average. If you do that consistently in three years, you'll be a superstar, end of story, game over, you've won. And that's the reality of this business. Uh, the next, the, the final concept I want to share with you, uh, I could 
get into a lot on this, but I, I do need to say it tonight. And this is this is something that is counter uh, to what a lot of people are teaching in the industry. But you don't want, you do not want a team of people who are there because they know you, like you, and trust you. Now, I agree 100% that we do business with those that we know, like, and trust my insurance agent, my life insurance agent, my realtor, people that I work with on a daily basis, my dry cleaner are people that I know, like, and trust. But if you try to build an organization in this industry, <coughs> excuse me, in this industry, and you end up with a, with a group of people that are only there because they know you, like you, and trust you, you're not going to get very far. And there's some people that, and I don't know the proper English for this, so I'll tell you in advance, but some people try to nice people into the business. They're just so nice and they're so cordial and they're so uh, friendly that they, they feel like if they're friendly enough, maybe people will join them. And you know what they do? The, the problem is, the reality is, if you have an organization full of those people, they will not do anything once they get there. They're just like hanging out with you instead of the people uh, at the Kiwanis Club or whatever. So you're looking for people that are looking for you. You're looking for people that are sick and tired of being sick and tired, that want to make some changes in their life, and are willing to plug into proven systems and programs and products and people and make that happen. The recruiting and team building rhythm. Now, here's reality. Most companies, and see, you know, I was talking to my wife about this today as we were traveling. I said, you know, what I love about working with this group of people is the group of people that understand. You know, Tim Miller was, I don't remember last time, but I was talking to him or heard him on a call or something, but he said, we don't, we don't, we don't drive Ferraris, we create wealth. And for a leader to have that type of insight into what their mission is and what their desire is as far as really helping people is phenomenal. And, you know, Ben had a financial planner come in and speak at one of the last events because that's his passion is to see people get debt free. And, you know, so I love that part. And see, what happens is most companies stagnate stagnate quickly because number one is they don't have leaders in the field and at the home office that understand what their true mission is. And they stagnate quickly because they don't have enough leaders teaching the recruiting and team building rhythm. And you know, there's a couple ways that you can build an organization. You know, what most people do is they contact everyone they know that's ever been in network marketing or direct sales, and when they run out of people, they're done. And when they're done, they stagnate, and it, it, always, it, it, it always stagnates. I mean, it's like, you know, you have somebody that's, uh, that knows some people, that knows some people, that, doesn't, that knows a few people, that knows a few people, who knows a few people who doesn't know that many people who knows nobody that's ever been in the industry and once it that plays out it stagnates and it always will and then they're off to the next deal and they take their followers with them you know this industry is about leadership development it's about homegrown leaders and that process that mentality will always create long term growth and stability within an organization and a company. And if, 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 these are the basic steps that happen. You create a lead. Once you have a lead, you either sponsor that person, you scratch them off your list because you don't want to work with them ever in your life for any reason. Uh, you put them in your database or you put them in your eagle file. And I've talked about this in various trainings, so I'm not going to go through all that tonight, but that's the process. Once you sponsor somebody, you're either going to, once you create a lead, you're either going to sponsor them, scratch them off your list, put them in your database, or put them in your eagle file. Once they sponsor, you start them correctly. And how do you start them correctly? Well, in SBC, the first step is you teach them and guide them through their 
in business letters, which is part of your manual. After you get them started and you get them moving forward, then, then you want to help them generate a few leads and teach them a few ways to generate leads. But once they're doing that, and again, I'm not going to get into all those different methods we've already talked about. But here's the mentality is once you get in, once you do that and they're, they're generating leads and they're taking people through the process and they're getting people on the webinars and the conference calls and, and they're doing that process, you're going to have people that are going to run into hurdles. And as a leader, you have to identify the common hurdles that are in this business, and you have to be able to look at somebody and ask the right questions. And if they're not moving forward to towards their goals and dreams and desires, you have to figure out, as a leader, what is the hurdle. And you know, there may be a book that they need to read. There may be an audio program they need to hear. But if somebody is scared to pick up the phone, in this industry, and that's a common hurdle, it was for me when I started, then you need to know there's a book out there in the marketplace called How to Overcome Call Reluctance or whatever, guys. I could give you example after example, and you know what the common hurdles are that people run into. Time management is a big hurdle for a lot of people. So there's, there's different hurdles, and as a leader, you have to help people over those hurdles. People don't care how much you know till they know how much you care. And, and, and it's, you know, unfortunately, there's a lot of people in this industry, the only thing they're worried about is, are they going to order their auto ship this month? And it's not about creating a following. It's about helping people move forward in the comp plan, in rank promotions, and ultimately achieve the goals and dreams and desires that they have for their family. So if you can help people over their hurdles, then you get to a point where you can develop a new leader, I call them homegrown leaders, that you can delegate to who, who understand everything that SBC offers, they understand the systems and programs, and they can turn around and duplicate what you've done with them. So if you look at every member of your team right now, past and present, past and present, you have those that are moving forward and working towards their goals. They're in what I call the rhythm of the business. They're in the rhythm. You have those that have, that signed up and peaked the day they signed up and they never really got started. You have those that are in front of a hurdle and different hurdles, but you have people, good people. They believe in the company. They love the product. They love the people, but they're in front of a hur hurdle. They're not moving forward in their business. The best thing that you can do for those people is get them to the event in Atlanta. No question about that. There's no question about that. The best thing that you can do, if you're listening to me tonight, is be at the event in Atlanta. And I hadn't planned on saying that, but somebody probably needed to hear that. You know, Jim Rohn said, what if the event you don't attend was your event? And ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you with certainty that if that I can look back over the last 30 plus years in this industry and there's two events that I attended early in my career that if I hadn't have attended those, I would not have the opportunity to be speaking with you tonight. They were my events. What if Atlanta is your event? Uh, and then you have those on your team that have achieved leadership positions. Now, we all have those types of people. You all have those types of people in your organization. So the go is to get yourself and your team in a productive SBC rhythm, a productive SPC, SBC rhythm, because the truth, consistent effort doesn't always produce consistent results. If you could share the opportunity with five people and one joined every single time you did that, you'd have no problem sponsoring five people this month because you knew all you have to do is show 25 and you're going to get your five because of the consistent effort. If it was guaranteed five equal one, five equal one, everybody could do that. But the reality, sometimes five equals zero, sometimes 10 equals zero, sometimes 10 equals six. It's numbers. And consistent effort doesn't always produce consistent results, but it always creates success. And it starts with recruiting. SBC offers the perfect product to retail 
to recruit with. And the manual and the training and everything teaches you the specific system to be able to do that. It's there for you. It's there for you to learn. It's proven. It works. Does it work 100% of the time? Absolutely not. Does it drastically increase your odds for success and everybody on your team? 100%, yes it does. 100%. No, not debatable. If you don't recruit, you have nobody to help get started correctly. You have nobody to help over hurdles and eventually develop into a leader. So we can back up and look at, okay, recruiting. And understand residual income can only be developed in network marketing from building a team, and that can only come from recruiting, no matter how great your product is. So recruiting and team building are not the same thing. They are separate skills, and they do require separate mindsets. You can never build a team if you don't master recruiting. And the easiest way to master recruiting is to master lead generation. So after your initial I'm in business letters, your SBC I'm in business letters and your follow up and then you get the product in the marketplace and you follow up using the system that is available to you guys, if you do that consistently and you master those two things, reality is you don't ever need to create a lead. I believe that. I've seen that with people. I've seen that over the years. There's you know, because a referral is the best lead that you can that you can create, and it is. So, the, the 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 strange thing about this industry is it's very possible to be a great recruiter and never develop a significant team. It, it's very possible because they ne because people a lot of times never really understand what to do with people after they've been sponsored. How do you get them started? What is the first step? What's the second step? You know, and you guys know that have been here for a while, the first step is always reasons until they know why, the how doesn't matter. That's always number one. Second step is they let people know they're in business, which is all again described in your manual. So the go is to get yourself and your team in a productive SBC rhythm. And again, I'm just saying this one more time. This is not a duplicate slide. It is a duplicate, but I put it in here on purpose. Consistent effort doesn't always bring consistent results, but it always creates success. But you have to get yourself into a rhythm. And to do that, you've got to manage your time. And there's some other things that come along. But you have to you have to be working your business consistently. You have to set aside the time. You have to you have to know this is when I'm doing this and this is when I'm doing that. And if you do it whenever you have time, none of us would ever get anything done. Zig Ziglar said, if we wait for all the stoplights to turn green, we never go anywhere. So without a cons constant flow of new prospects, you can never get in a rhythm. And my first three years in this industry, what I fought more than anything was just trying to get consistent, trying to, you know, because I'd go to an event and I'd get fired up and I'd come home and I'd work real hard for a couple of weeks and then it was like my energy would drain and, it, you know, then I'd go to another event a month or two later and I'd get fired up and then, you know, I never, it was getting in that consistent, consistent rhythm of the business is what's changed everything. So if it's true that you have to create a consistent flow of new prospects to, before you can ever get in the rhythm, when are you going to decide to do that, to become a master at lead generation? And see, that was a conscious decision for me. You know, I realized, and I've had this conversation with many, 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 many people over the years, is until you master this, you will never achieve your potential. You have to learn how to do this. And it was uncomfortable for me. I'll be honest. In the beginning, it was very uncomfortable. You know, I can remember the first newspaper ads I ran. I, I stuttered and, and didn't know what I was saying and had no script. And, I mean, it was a lot of hard knocks along the way. 
But I can remember in, uh, 25 years ago at an event, after this decision had been made for, uh, for me consciously that I was going to learn how to do this, I can remember at an event 25 years ago saying, look, you can take me up in an airplane with a bottle of product and a pack of brochures and push me out with a parachute, please, in any town in the United States. And wherever I land in that town, I will have a growing, thriving organization within 90 days. And that only came after the decision was made that I needed to learn how to do that and I needed to get through my comfort zone on some things and learn how to do a few simple lead generation ideas and get comfortable with that process. And you say, yeah, Dale, but that was 25 years ago. Well, here's what I have understood over the years, that, and that is success concepts and principles never change, only t technology changes. And guys, I've been around a long time. I mean, I remember when there was no such thing as a VHS video. I'm talking, some of you don't even know what that is. But I remember when the first VHS videos came out, they were $79, and I thought it was the best deal in the world because I didn't have to do one-on-one -on -one presentations anymore. I could just hand somebody a video and say, push play. Okay, so I've seen technology. I, I remember when Fax on Demand, that's old. But I remember when Fax on Demand first came out and voicemail and all of that. So technology has always moved methods has always created new methods and I've done my best to stay in tune with that over the years but I've never neglected the proven methods of the past because human nature is human nature it hasn't changed in 50 years and our real product in this industry is people that's that that's what our real product now today uh, did I say to that yeah today today I would tell anybody that you can put me in a hotel room for 90 days in any country in the United in the world that has internet access, take away my list, take away all my contacts, and I could build it again and in 90 days I could have a growing thriving organization. Now, the, so what has happened over the years, it creates this big debate between people, old school, new school. It, it has nothing to do with anything. There's no such thing. The name of the game is sorting through people. The name of the game is creating as many contacts as you can monthly, daily, weekly, because, because you have a number. You have a number for you to get to where you are, to where you want to go. You have a number. So I wouldn't think of building an organization and going walking inside to pick up my Chinese takeout and not leaving a stack of drop cards on the counter. I wouldn't think about doing that if, if I was in the middle of building a team because the, the, it's every single day create. You don't know where they're going to come from. You have no idea because we're all looking for the right people at the right time in their life. You know, a lot of people are going to look at that, oh, that's just a blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, you know what? They're not a prospect for your business. Next, next, it is numbers. So why do people that have been around this industry for years and years and years never master lead generation? I think number one is unrealistic expectations. And I've dealt with this many, many times over the years. People run a little ad in the thrifty nickel, and they think that they're going to sponsor 27 people from the ad. They think their phone's going to ring off the hook, and everybody that calls is going to have their credit card waiting for them, uh, demanding that they take their credit card number and get their product order right now. And it doesn't happen that way. So it's unrealistic expectations. Uh, and... and Again, we have to have realistic expectations, guys. You know, you, the, the, I, I can re, and see, I think this is something everybody kind of goes through. You know, I, I think 
over the years watching different people. I, I think it's human nature, and I don't know if it's because of comfort zone exactly. I think it's a combination of a lot of things. But we all want to accomplish as much as we possibly can, doing as little as we possibly can. And maybe that's what attracts people to the residual income of this industry to begin with. But the reality is you got to do whatever you need to do to create momentum in your group. You know, I, you know, in the beginning, we can't take no's personal. No's get you closer to a yes. I want them to tell me no. I got to a point where I was trying to disqualify them before they joined and wasted my time. And once you get to a point where you know you can create as many leads as you need to create and get as many people to take a look at this program as you need to to achieve your goals and your dreams, which everybody listening to me tonight can get there, that's, the, that's not the hard part. And you can get there, but you just got to not take everything so emotionally and just understand I'm working towards my number. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to get there as quick as I possibly can. So unrealistic expectations, depending on one source for leads. And I've watched this many, many times over the years. Uh, way back when, the industry was so new and unheard of, and nobody had ever knew what they didn't know what the circles were even. They didn't, you know, and, and but way back when, uh, people could just, talk to their warm market and those people talk to their warm market and they talk to their warm market and they talk to their warm market and they talk to their warm market and if you're willing to do your see when when I first started in 1980 they told me Dale here's what you do you make a list of 500 people and you talk to every one of them and you'll have an organization moving forward that's what I did it took me almost two years but I did that that's 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 the way it used to be built and does warm market still work? Absolutely, it's the best. Yes, absolutely, positively. But you have to you have to ask for help, not trying to pitch an opportunity. People want to help you, and people love to buy. They just don't want to be sold. So warm market. And then what happened as more and more people started seeing the circles or whatever over time, postcards became really hot. And I remember when you could send a postcard for like three cents or four cents. And you could send a postcard and you could create a, a great lead for that that you could schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with. And I remember direct mail. Does postcards and direct mail still work? Absolutely, positively, yes. Do, do they still work at the level that they did at their peak? Probably not. But I think postcards today work better than they did five years ago because nobody's going to take the time to do it because everybody's running to the Internet to try to do something. Do newspaper ads. So after postcards, and see, I know some people that were masters at postcards that when, that, when those numbers kind of dwindled, because I can remember going to my mailbox and getting five to ten postcards a day. Years ago, people were selling opportunity seekers list, and I can remember all that. And when and when that those numbers were not what they once were, instead of moving forward and learning new methods and mastering new pe methods, I have friends that are no longer in the vend in the industry today because when postcards dried up for a, a while, they didn't know what to do. And then newspaper ads. Newspaper ads. Do they still work today? Absolutely. Do they work at the level that maybe they once did? No. But do they work? Yes. Absolutely. But why do they work? Because human nature is human nature. And human nature hasn't changed. It, it just doesn't. We do things out of curiosity. As human beings, we do things out of curiosity. Uh, then everybody moved into email marketing. And people couldn't decide if they were an email marketer. And email marketing, does it work today? Yes. Does it work the same today as it did six, seven, eight years ago? No. Why? Because there was a time when everybody looked forward to getting an email. Oh, I got an email from somebody. Okay. Okay. Things change, guys. We have to continue to add to what we're doing to continue to do the numbers that we need to do to create the success that we want. 
and and from email marketing everybody moved to social media and it's like you know Pinterest Facebook Twitter uh, Instagram you know YouTube everything social media has social media changed there's you know the, the algorithms of that change all the time I mean I, I was looking back 11 years ago and I had 10 websites in 10 different niches on, on the on the top three of Google and then in one day Google changed their algorithms and and seven of them I couldn't even find I mean technology is constantly changing and to depend upon just uh, social media to build your business is not it's not prudent I mean it's just not so mastering lead generation can be done by every one of you listening here to me tonight many of you already have but it's a constant evolution. The, the way we'll be generating leads for business 10 years from now, probably none of us have even heard of yet. And, you know, I, again, so you can do it, and you have to understand that it's numbers, and every single thing you can do to generate a lead, you need to do it every single day. So why have people not mastered? The third reason, they listen to the wrong people that are promising shortcuts. See, there's a lot of people out there that understand that this is a major issue for people in this industry. And you see all kinds of crazy things out there like, if your membership is free for only $70 a person, I will guarantee you 25 new members to your, your downline. I'll do all the work. You keep all the money. You know, we see all that stuff because people are trying to appeal to me people's mediocrity instead of inspiring people to learn, grow, and and get better. And we see, and it makes me sick. It it it, it really. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna quit there because I'll go. I'll go off on that. And then the fourth thing, and nobody talks about this, but I call it the paradigm shift of 1995. And this is all I'm going, to, I'm going to explain this real quickly, and you guys have been around as long as I, you know, that, that long. You'll you'll remember all this, but it was 1995 Success Magazine, which uh, th that Success Magazine is no longer in the marketplace anymore. That was the uh, Napoleon Hill, W. Clement Stone Success Magazine. But anyway, in '95 they came out with an article. And it was called We Create Millionaires, and and it talked about network marketing and all the millionaires that was that were created, and I think that was kind of the foundation where people started to realize, hey, there's other people out there, there's other companies, they already understand the industry, they already they already have people that they that they might already have a team, maybe I can convince them to join me, and 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 we in my opinion. And around that time, the focus became on recruiting each other instead of developing the skill sets and the mindsets that ultimately create long-term duplicating success in this industry. You know, and I'm just going to continue on because I don't want to go off on a tangent there. So what do you need to do? What's the first step to becoming a master recruiter and team builder? I have always tried to communicate to people that you need to have at least five ways that you're generating leads for your business. At least five. Because you have different types of prospects come from different time, different types of advertising and you can do this at little or no cost bulletin board flyers drop card all that's little or no cost and the more you, you get into the marketplace you never know when when that postcard or that drop card is going to get in front of somebody that is just sick and tired of being sick and tired their window is open and they're open for opportunity and guys that's ultimately the person you're looking for. That you're looking for people that just are are they want to do something different. You know, they just the layoff number at their job is getting closer to them all the time. 
you know, there's a lot of people out there that are looking for opportunity. A lot of them have preconceptions about what our industry is, but that's okay. You, we can get past that. We, you, you can. When you find somebody that is truly looking and they, they're a good person, they're, you know, you feel like they're, see, skeptical is phenomenal. When somebody is skeptical, I, that's the best prospect you can have is a skeptical prospect because if they if they ever see it then somebody's not just going to talk them out of it as soon as they join if somebody gets all fired up and excited and they're going to they're going to be a millionaire next year we've all seen them how long do those people hang around they don't hang around very long but if somebody is skeptical and you can give them the documented facts of the last three and a half years of SBC, if they're skeptical and they take the time to really look, to really look at the power of the weight loss industry, they will sell themselves. They will absolutely sell themselves on the program. So master five ways, guys, and say, so, well, where, where should I start? You know, social media works, postcards work, newspaper ads, email marketing, all of it works. Okay, and there'll be more ways and more ways. There's so many different ways to create leads. And SBC, they, the training is there for you. You just have to consume it and put it into action and understand you've got to move the method into your comfort zone. And it's not you aren't going to feel great and comfortable the first time you do any new lead generation idea. It takes a while, but the bottom line, guys, people are people. Some are looking, some are kicking tires, and all you're doing is ultimately you're looking for people that are skeptical but open and really looking and get the, get the facts in front of them while maintaining curiosity. Don't, don't open their mouth, stuff a water hose on it, and Turn the water on full blast and drown them. Curiosity. People do everything in life out of curiosity. You, you just curiosity, curiosity, curiosity. Understand fear loss. You keep that what you give away. You have to be willing to tell somebody, hey, are you still interested in getting the facts on this program or can I go ahead and scratch you off my list? You have to be willing to do that because that's how you get your whole recruiting to an entirely different level. You, it, it, so SBC provides the training for you. They do. You know, uh, they've got awesome leaders in the field. Ben has really, really embraced, you know, wanting to give you guys everything that you need to make sure that if, if you are the right type of person and you're willing to do your part, that, that they're, they're going to do everything they possibly can to make sure that you are successful. Uh, it's a privilege for me to work with SBC, the leadership that's dedicated to providing you every tool and training you need to create true wealth with people that understand what true wealth is and understand what the power of this industry is. You know, I, I love working with the right people. And uh, the last thing that I want to share with you guys, uh, for those of you that have not been here very long, have not been with SBC very long, you know, I was talking to uh, a friend of mine last week, and he was, you know, he's, he's, his company went out of business. He said, Dale, what I said, look, you need to really, you need to look at SBC. He said, the skinny, the pink. Bought skinny body? Yeah. I said, you need to look. He said, Dale, that's just another weight loss deal. I said, I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. You've known me a long time. I promise you it's not. I said, do you even have a clue how the compensation plan works? He said, well, no, but it's a way. I said, look. You know, and that's what I would tell you guys tonight that are listening, especially the new people. Don't, don't just categorize this as another weight loss deal because I can tell you there's a lot of people that have been with this company a while that will tell you, you know, it's home. It's home for them. And see, here's what I know. There's some of you listening tonight, 
and maybe you've been around this industry for a year or even years, and you've never really found a home. And if you do find it, you know, you've never really found the tools and the support and everything that you need that you can put it on the line and decide, you know what, I'm going to give this the time. I'm going to give this, this the effort. I'm going to learn how to do this business, and I'm going to make it happen with, with, with this program. And maybe some of you have made that decision in the past, and then the companies let you down. And the, the best thing that I can share with you, and guys, I, you know, some of you know, but I, I, I'm not a distributor, okay? I could work, I, and I do work with other companies. Okay, but when when I get the chance to work with SBC, I love it because I can have so much conviction about what I'm sharing because I know these concepts and ideas ultimately create success that I share. But it's hard for me if I know that the people that I'm sharing it with are with a company that doesn't have a chance in the world of of becoming a billion dollar company and I really believe that believe that it does I, I really really truly do so I, that's what I would tell you from I consider myself a third-party source and the last thing I want to share with you and I haven't th I don't even know where I heard this but hopefully this will speak to somebody and it's a quote that uh, again, I, I wish I could give credit, but I don't really remember. But it is, if you don't do it, you'll never know how good it could have been if you had just done it. And that's my hope for you guys, that you will not take this for granted. You'll take this information, put it into action, decide you're going to master the skill sets and, and mindsets it takes to develop long-term generational wealth with this company. Ben, I'll turn it back over to you. Are you there, Ben? There you are. There you are. There you are. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Awesome. Hold on one sec. Let me close my door real quick. All right. Going to wake up my kids. That was awesome, Dale. Thank you so much. Hopefully, you guys got some good, valuable, powerful information tonight and are going to use that to build your teams. I know you guys all wish, as I mentioned at the beginning of the call, that, that you had 100 people on your team with you on this call. And, and that's what these trainings are for, guys. The best trained team wins. The more people on your team who you have on these webinars, who you have on the training calls, who you have at live events, the faster, more long-term, stronger, more solid organization you're going to have, you're going to build honestly, the less work you're going to have to do because we're doing it for you. Your people are going to get motivated. They're going to get excited. They're going to go out there and make stuff happen. All you guys got to do is, is plug in and plug them in and lead by example. And the fact that you guys are on this call, make sure you can see me pointing at you, um, you know, shows that you are a leader, shows that you are leading by example. You're taking the initiative. You're showing your team, hey, this is what it's all about. You've got to be on these calls. I'm on these calls, speaking from you, you know, telling your team and leading by example. Because it's hard to tell your team to get on webinars like this when you're not even here. And um, you know, we had a lot of people on this call, which is awesome. And I'm so proud of all you guys that you, you, know, you are committed to this company, to, most importantly to yourself, to creating the lifestyle that you want to create. And I, really believe truly with everything inside me that this is the easiest, most powerful, most just perfect way to do that with what we have. I mean, as I mentioned at the beginning, we have a product that absolutely works. We have the most powerful compensation plan in the industry. As Dale talks about, if you have a product that people want, people are going to get rich. And it's happening with this company. It would happen even without this powerful compliment. It would happen even without these training calls. But we want to take it to a whole nother level. And that's why we're the fastest growing company in the industry right now. When other companies who have spent 
millions, multi-millions of dollars trying to put their company together and recruit all these leaders and pay for talent to come on, can't even compete with you guys. And we're doing it with mostly non-networkers, people who haven't been in this industry before. So you know, again, the timing is perfect right now, and I, I don't want to see you guys miss it. Just like the quote on the screen says, if you don't do it, you'll never know how good it could have been if you've just done it. What we have here is special, guys. It's powerful, and I don't want you to miss out on it. I don't want your team to miss out on it, and I just really want to emphasize the, the best trained team wins. You've got to get your teams on these calls. The fact that you're on here shows a lot about your commitment, your dedication, the fact that you are committed, because and your team is going to see that. They're going to know that, hey, my, my leader is on this call. It's on this webinar. That means you know they're for real. They're going to take this company to the top. I know they're going to hit platinum in this company. I know they're going to hit diamond, crown diamond, royal crown diamond, and ultimately retire with this company. I know they're going to help me get there and everyone in my team. And that's what you want your team thinking about when they talk about you, is that they know your level of commitment. They know how committed you are to helping them achieve success. So. Dale, thank you so much. That was awesome, powerful information. I took a lot of notes. I hope you guys did as well. Hopefully, uh, we can get the recording out there and emphasize the value and get everyone in the company watching it and watching it three or four times until they can train it. Uh, because you know, as we we, we kind of started training, we've leaned off it a little bit, but you're going to get a lot of it at the Atlanta event, which is leadership development. This is more than just a company to teach you, you know, what to do in the steps. This is about becoming a leader, growing personally inside and not only developing yourself as a leader, but teaching you how to build other leaders, how to develop other leaders, because that's exactly what we want to create here. It's just a leadership development community, a leadership development company, and that's exactly what we're doing. We've got some people in this company who came in here with just no self-confidence, no self-esteem, never led any group, you know, been a captain of anything or anything like that, and, and now, you know, have gone from literally the bottom, just, you know, socially, um, I don't want to say embarrassed, but kind of at that level where they're just not confident, and now are helping so many other people, are inspiring other people, in a lot in part because of our training, a lot in part because of our compensation plan, but really a lot in part, and Dale covered it tonight, because of the people that we have in this company. They're absolutely amazing. They embrace you. They support you. They love you. They're committed to helping you guys succeed. And, and that's why I really cannot emphasize enough, as much as I say it, getting to a live event. Um, guys, do whatever you can to get to Atlanta. It is going to be awesome. It's going to be life-changing for a lot of you guys. As Dale talked about, it could be the event that changes your life. Tim talked about it last night. Courtney Looper has been in the company just over a year now. How crazy is that? And she's only been in the company for a year. But last March, when we had our event in Dallas, Texas, she was about two weeks into the company, two weeks into the business. I don't think she'd even made a sale yet. Came in, came to that event, met the people, felt the love. And she came to that event, guys, beat up, beat down. I mean, she was facing her fifth eviction, hadn't paid her rent in three or four months, hadn't paid her car payment, had just pawned her TV and her sofa just to buy her way into the company, much less, fortunately it was in her backyard. I don't, I don't want to give people excuses to not get to Atlanta because it's not in your backyard, but she lives in Dallas, the event was in Dallas, so she had a little, uh, a little break there. Um, hopefully she would have made a commitment and made it happen anyway, whether it was in Australia, Russia, wherever we had the event. But um, you know, she got to that event, and as Tim mentioned, you know, she met the people, she felt the support, felt the, the emotional connection, met people who, and this is kind of my driving force. I've always found people who I, I don't want to say that I'm better than, but if I see people who I know have struggled and have challenges, and, and I, I, you know, I always feel, I, I try to find the, the, the lowest common denominator, the person that you know, I believe if this person can do it, I can do it. And, you know, Courtney found a few of those people that she kind of modeled herself after. And, and then once you get to that level, it's like, okay, you know, I, I'm there. Now 
you know, if this guy can do it, I can do it. If this lady can do it, I can do it. And it's absolutely true. No one in this company, no one in the, on the planet has anything better than you do. You just have to make the commitment. Go out there, learn, be focused, be committed, be a sponge, be willing to, to recognize that you don't know everything. And it's okay to not know everything. You don't have to know even 5%, even 1% of how this business works, of how the compensation plan works, of how to generate leads to be successful. Take what you have. Ignorance on fire beats, you know, Dale was talking about if all the red light, or all the, the traffic light, if you wait for all the traffic lights to be green, in other words, if you wait until you know absolutely everything, until you start building, you're never going to get there. No one, Dale doesn't know everything in this industry. I don't know everything in this industry. Tim Miller might know everything in this industry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's a lot of stuff that, that none of us you know, know. There's a lot of stuff that some of us know and others don't. Um, but and there's some stuff that we haven't even learned yet that other people are using that absolutely dominate. So it doesn't matter what you know. It doesn't matter what you don't know. It matters about, actually, I guess it does matter what you know, taking action on what you know, on the few things. If you just know one tiny way to build, Go out there and make it happen, and on the way, learn other ways and start implementing those. Even if you're not a master or an expert at it yet, you know how you get to those levels? By practice, by actually implementing it into your organization, by going out there and making things happen. So guys, you know, again, we are committed, and, and I want you guys to, to see that, to feel that, to believe it, and to know that I will not be happy unless you guys are making money, unless you guys are successful in this business, unless you guys can retire and walk away in five years from now and never have to worry about making money for the rest of your life. That's what this is about. It's not about the money for me anymore, guys. It's about helping you guys retire, helping you guys absolutely dominate in this industry, in this competitive industry where there's a lot of competition, there's a lot of hype, there's a lot of, a lot of snakes out there. Um, and we're doing it right. We're doing it different, and, and we're proud of that, and it's working. And that's why we have people with no experience absolutely rocking this thing. But, I, you know, I, I'm going to say it one more time because I, I want you guys to really feel it. And at the end of this call and, and every time you hear it, just have something digging inside of you, just nudging you so hard, making you feel that you need to be in Atlanta. Now, I'm going to keep pushing and keep nudging because I know that you are not going to leave Atlanta saying, oh, I wasted my money, I wasted my time, I shouldn't have come. I am 100% absolutely just beyond confident that you're going to leave that event not only thanking the universe that you made the commitment to get there and being so happy that you did because it was so worthwhile for you, that you're going to wish, as I mentioned, that you had 100 people on your team there with you. And I guarantee you, you're going to bring 100 people to the next event when you feel it and when you see it and when you experience it, because that's what it's all about. So get to Atlanta. Get to Atlanta. Get to Atlanta. Dig, dig, dig. Nudge, nudge, nudge. Get there, guys. It will be worth it. And get your team there. Make a commitment. People are looking for roommates, guys. I mean, it could be cheap. Don't worry it's not a huge investment but it is going to be more than worth it for you in the long term of what you can do in your in your organization how it's going to build how it's going to grow and it, it's hard to explain until you get to an event and you may think that you understand what what happens at these events they're not just rah rah sessions they're not hype to try to get you pumped up and and brainwashed as some companies like to do it's truly about building that belief and understanding that you are in a company that you're supposed to be in, that you are at the right place at the right time with a team of people that are behind you and 100% committed to helping you get there. And, uh, and that's why it, it, the event is, is so powerful. So I can't wait to see you guys there. I can't wait to, to see all of you guys, old and new. I know there's a ton of people coming who I haven't had the opportunity to meet yet, a ton of people who we've uh, had the opportunity to hang out and spend time with on, at many other events. We've also got a cruise coming up at the end of the year. I'm not gonna, that's awesome. That's really more fun uh, than training, but it's going to be awesome as well. Um, but first and foremost, get to Atlanta. It's going to be awesome. And regardless, plug in what you learned tonight 
take advantage of everything, and, uh, and I can't wait to see you guys in Atlanta. Unfortunately, when I speak in Atlanta, I'm not, uh, for some reason, when I'm behind my computer or on the phone, I can just rock. But when I'm on stage, as you guys know, I, like, freeze up. So hopefully you, can guys, you guys can, uh, can be there and give me some love and support when I get up on stage. And hopefully it'll, uh, it'll be fun. But no, we're going to have a good time in Atlanta. It is going to be awesome. I can't wait to see you guys there. I'm going to wrap it up. I've talked for a while tonight. I think uh, there's a call, actually. Oh, that was last night. It might be something at 9 o'clock. You guys are, are on fire and just doing it every night. So with that, have a great night, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll get the recording out so you can get it out to your team, and we can get hundreds of thousands of people around the industry watching this thing and really recognizing what we're all about. And, uh, and that's all I got. So, hey, Dale, real quick, is uh, when you get the recording out, does it show my craziness on here as well? I hope so, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. I'm we'll really not, but I'll send you the link. All right, awesome. Cool. All well, right, that's buddy. all I got. Dale, if there's uh, anything you want to add, I'll let you do that. Otherwise, good night, everyone, and we'll see you at the top and see you in Atlanta. Okay, guys. See you in Atlanta. Good night, guys. Night. night.